So, applique wizard. Applique wizard will create an applique from an, a, a region. You have to create it with the rectangle tool, shape tool, or outline tool. Now, I'm going to close this so we can look at our design. This was a flower created with the shape tool with a really wild outline and fill, but I decided I'd rather have an applique flower. So select the flower design, so applique wizard, and I have some choices. Applique material. Do I want to stitch this layer? Yes or no? Applique position. This one's not optional. This is what you would stitch on your garment in order to place the material down. Tack down. This is an extra layer that if you have a fabric that ravels a lot, you might need a tack down stitch. You can say yes, and you have a choice of a satin, E, or V stitch, or no. And then your top layer of stitching. Now watch this. If I choose an E, V stitch, suddenly I lose the tack down. That's because it, you would be able to see the tack down stitch. It usually gets hidden under a satin stitch. If I choose an E or V stitch, I have other attributes to set. How long the stitch is, the interval between it, and my stitch length. Same with a V stitch. So I'm going to leave these as is, and I'm going to click OK. And now my design no longer has a fill, it no longer has a motif outline, but I do have an applique with the layers. Let's look at the sewing order. There's my applique material, position, and top layer. So that was Sew Applique Wizard.